What's up guys? Welcome to your seventh tutorial. Again with me, Travis, of my bring back. Uh, this is the Java series. Because I, you know, I kind of put it on the back burner. And then I look back to it and there's all these comments like, Hey man, I'm looking for the next tutorial. Hook me up, brother. I'm getting addicted to this crap. Anytime, you know, you feel that I forget to do a tutorial, just shoot me like a message. Or you guys can hit me up on Google Plus or something because I'm pretty forgetful trying to do, you know, juggle a ton of different things right now. Um, so, you know, just give me a friend, friendly reminder and we'll get it, get it working here for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out our starting point class again um, and just, you know, set it up like that. we got to get rid of this scanner because we don't really need it. And uh, there we go. We're going to work with our dog class again and we're going to set up a couple of variables again we have the dog well, actually let me get into something else real quick I noticed that when I did these tutorials I labeled this class as dog with a lowercase d and I forgot that you guys are pretty much just learning Java and anytime you define a class you want to have an uppercase letter um, because lowercase letters are more for variables more for methods stuff like that um, but you want your classes to be uppercase so we're going to save this and then we still have a red squiggly line we're just going to hover over and say rename compilation to dog java click that and as you can see it renames our class to uppercase dog which you guys should probably get in the habit of doing because other programmers will hate you and burn your house down so now that you guys learned that what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our starting point class and create two dog objects one called jerome and again before we did jerome like this but you want your variable names to be lowercase so we're just going to say jerome equal to new dog All right nothing new and we also want another dog object we're going to call this dog henry again set this equal to new dog object and now henry and uh, Jerome they can do the bark methods the dig methods all that good stuff but you know besides from our viewpoint they're pretty much the same dog they can't do anything different uh, all they can do is the same things dig and bark so we aren't really utilizing our dog class because we want to define what a construct um, basically how our dog is constructed we want to give it some specific details you know you know because not all dogs are the exact same they can all dig and they can all bark but you know dogs are different breeds they have different names and stuff like that so when we create our dog we want to give it some of those specifications and how we do that is with something called a constructor so we're gonna jump over to our dog class and create a constructor real quickly and how you create a constructor is basically by saying the same name as your class name so we're just gonna say dog and we're gonna give it parentheses and uh, you know go like this pretty easy right and basically this is uh, the same um, let me see how I want to describe this alright so I'm not for sure if I want to describe it like this or not because I remembered learning Java I was kind of confused by constructors but I'm gonna try and explain it the best uh, to my best ability so what we want this specification to do is again this is a constructor it gives us a little bit more uh, you know specifications of the dog that we want to create so for example if we want to create a dog that has a certain name and a certain breed we're gonna say both of those are strings so we're gonna set up a string variable called name and a string variable called breed And now we're going to set up our constructor to be a string n and a string b. Now we can label this n and b however we want. But the thing I want you guys to realize is we are getting two strings that are being passed into this class. And you're like, passed into this class? What are you talking about? So let's jump back over to our starting point class. Um, after we save our project, we get these errors. So I don't know if this is getting kind of confusing or not, but again, I'm going to try and just walk you through the steps. Hopefully, you guys can make the connections. If not, you know, shoot me a comment and I'll try and elaborate on it a little bit more. 
but we're getting this error because it's looking for a certain kind of constructor because when it creates this dog object called Jerome we're calling a new constructor basically we're creating a new object through a constructor because the constructor kind of starts building the object for us so we're getting this error because we don't have this constructor within our dog class but if we wanted to create a dog object that didn't have a name and a breed we'd want a constructor that doesn't take in any information and I know you guys are probably pretty confused right now but um, I just want to show you guys this here and hopefully you can make the connections later so we're going to create two constructors because we can have more than one constructor for a class like a dog object and uh, now we were going to save our project and we don't have any more errors because when we call this new object to be created whether it be Jerome or Henry we're using this constructor that doesn't take anything in it so it's basically being like hey I'm calling I found a constructor we're cool uh, we can still do the bark and the dig method but you guys didn't want anything set up uh, that's that's anything you know too specific but we also have this other constructor where we can pass in two strings as you can see here string n and string b so now what we're going to do is we're going to specify Jerome a little bit more um, you know give him some more details because he hates being defined the same as his friends you know no one sees him as a unique being uh, right now and he he's like you know pissed when he's like hey I am not the same as Henry I'm a golden retriever um, and Henry's like a pit bull so you know we are not the same so what we're going to do is we're going to help Jerome and Henry out here, give them a little bit more specifications besides just them both being able to dig and bark. We're going to give them a name and we're going to call this name Jerome. And we're also going to give him a breed, which again has to be a string. So we're going to say Golden Retriever. So what we could also do is, you know, set up a string here. We call it uh, breed or whatever you guys want, Bria. And we can call this golden retriever, blah, blah, blah. And we can put Bria right here, you know, stuff like that. If we want to use variables. But, you know, when any anytime we do things within quotations, it's, it's going to know it's a string. So we're just going to deal with it this way. So now when we create Jerome, we're giving this new dog object that's creating for us some additional information. Two strings, as you can see, one string named Jerome. The second string is uh, Golden Retriever. As you can see, they're both strings. So now when it creates this Jerome object for us, it's going to look for a constructor that takes in two strings. So it's going to hop over to our dog class and be like, all right, is this constructor? And he's like, no, man, you don't have any strings in there. He's like, oh, okay, is this co the constructor? We're like, yeah, uh, that takes in one string, and then we have a comma, and it takes in another string. Now, the thing that might be kind of confusing for you guys is this N and this B, and why we set up this name and this breed here. Because basically, when we call this constructor, this is the information that we're getting. So again, we have two strings. This one would be Jerome and this one would be golden retriever but that's just the information being passed in so uh, what we want to do is we want to set up the name string that we set up for this specific class equal to the string that we're getting in so we're gonna say n so all we're doing now is setting up the string for a dog class uh, to be equal to be uh, the first parameter that's being passed in which is again Jerome in this case so you know that's all we're doing and I know again guys this might be a little bit confusing probably check out the next tutorial because I'll probably make another one real quick uh, elaborating on this a little bit more um, because we aren't really using these yet but again all we're doing is we have these string variables set up to name and breed and we get some information when we're constructing the object again that's why it's called a constructor is uh, you know we're getting some additional information uh, we want to use that information so that's why we uh, set up these variables and we'll get into using these variables in the next uh, next tutorial here 
but we can also set up Henry real quick even though there's a constructor that doesn't take anything within its parameters we want to give Henry a little bit of you know individuality so we're gonna give him a name Henry and we're also gonna say um, Pitbull so now Henry has a little bit more uh, information so what we can also do is that's probably it for this tutorial but just to show you guys we get an error if we try and pass in an integer or something because we don't have a constructor that takes a string and then an integer we could we could set up another one like uh, dog and uh, string name or n and uh, integer like age or something and then we could you know specify the name and the age of the dog uh, according to how it's constructed when we call it within our starting point class um, but just for this example not to get anything into anything too complicated even though it's probably pretty confusing for you right now uh, make sure you check out the next tutorial and we'll show you guys what we've what we've actually done so I'll catch you guys then and have a good one see ya